Number five, not having the right co-founders. In case you did not um, hear the edition four, which has to do with failing to execute sales and marketing, please click up here and then you can go back to it. But number five is not having the right co-founders. Now, it is important that I state here because you should see the, 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 the pie chart of all that I'm saying. Now, if you look at it, number one, which has to do with building the wrong product or building what nobody wants, number two, hiring poorly, number three, lack of focus, and number four, failing to execute. You will find out that these four alone takes on 5% of the pie chart. So it is important that you must get the first four right before you enter even the fifth one, which is not having the right co-founder. Now, when it comes to the right co-founder, how you start a business matters. It is important that you are very careful on the selection of people that form your business. It is important that also every business must be an entity, must have a structure, must also have the right leadership and rulership of it. Otherwise, it will be dead on arrival. When you go and register your company at whatever commission, your state or your country, so does, please note that they will ask you for the names of directors. Now, on that director holding, they are going to be shareholders, people that are shareholders and maybe a board. Please ensure as an entrepreneur, which I always advise people, have majority share. So that helps you to have rulership and leadership. If you don't have majority share, it's a problem. But if, for instance, you are having a partnership where people are bringing equal equity, whether in cash or in kind, they can have equal this thing, where you have at least an average of two to three people in that partnership. And that partnership must be of value. Please make sure that you look at what your partner is bringing. You quantify it. What is he bringing to the table? Never go into business in partnership with anybody who does not bring anything. It is so, so, so wrong. Because when your business begins to grow and they now have shares in that company, they will take out of your sweat. So you need to be careful who you have as your partner, what they are bringing to the table, and then from there you can now decide, is the partnership going to work or not going to work? Now because if you have some partnership who have some credibility issue, now when they, when their name flags up in different, uh, in different areas of interest, in, in different places where people can look at, one of the challenges you always hear is that your lead, your, your partnerships have an integrity issue. Greatest currency you will ever need or you will ever have in doing your business is integrity. Once there is no integrity, there is a problem. So you need to be very careful who you select on, on your board of directors, especially when it comes to shareholding. And I believe that if your business grows, you can now share or now look, go into public liability or you know enter into the stock exchange and now sell shares to the public whereby you can raise more capital for your business but how you start the business it is very important now look at it now if you need products and services sometimes you need to call the people that have goods and services on your board and then you put them in as partners to make your business well now remember the selection of partnership has to do with they must have the right values they must have the right integrity they must have the right ethics if they don't have it please no matter Matter even if they have the money, don't bring them on board because they will spoil your name in the long run. Or in future, what they will do is that they will take the business from you, and you need to be very careful for that. Especially if your business is good and it's progressive, so you have to be very careful. You may also need to talk to a lawyer, a legal advisor, to advise you on ownership structure of the business, who will show you that you can have this or you can have that. There are some businesses that maybe you want to do, you have the skill set to do, it, but you don't have the right qualifications. That's another challenge. You may need to bring in somebody in there to be on your board who has the right qualification but may not necessarily want to be a part of it. So you can ask the person to join your board as a non-executive director so he doesn't get involved in the day-to-day -day running of your business. Um, it's only for board meetings you can call him or her and then you have a formula whereby maybe owns a certain percentage like 5% or 10% of the business where you definitely have controlling shares of the business. Business is war, remember, and treat it as such. Don't give all your eggs or everything to people on the board. But if you have good members of your board, you can give them equal shares and they contribute in their intelligent know-how, in their skill know-how, in their financial know-how, and their access to different um, sectors, and you will grow your business fantastically. That's how to do it. So call to action is number one. What do you want to achieve 
in your company. What qualifications do you want on your board, number one? Who do I need on my board? What do they bring to the table, number two? What can I give as a structure or a share capital or shares to them to be on the board? Number four, will they be ready to be a part of that board? Number five, will they add value, yes or no? Don't get emotional when it comes to business because once you sign that dotted line, it becomes a legally binding document. You need to be careful with whatever you sign. Thank you for watching this video and please leave a comment on the comment section and please share the video, let it impact somebody, let it help somebody become better and let me know your takeaway from this video in the comment below and definitely I'll get back to you. Thank you very much and do have a wonderful day and watch out for the next